Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? It's Smittybag with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to get mods on all Xbox consoles after they completely removed MC Add-ons Manager, and they also ruined the, uh, the Internet Explorer on here. But there is a will, there's a way, we still have a way to get mods working. As you can see, the mod I'm currently using right now allows me to just simply crouch and break all the ores with one hit like that. I know it's kind of a lame mod, but that's the one I'm going to show you how to install today. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments down below as I respond to absolutely everybody. Hopefully you find this useful. If you want to figure out how to get uh, shaders or skin packs, I have videos for those too in the description. But yeah, enjoy this video guys, uh, hopefully it helps you out, and let's get right into this. So the first thing we need to do is download three applications for your Xbox. So what you want to do is go down here where it says My Games and App. You want to click on that, then what you want to do is look on the left here. You want to go down to Apps, and where it says Apps, you want to scroll over to where it says Microsoft Store, because that is where we'll be getting the apps from. So once you have the store open, what you want to do is go to the search bar right here, and the first one you want to type in is you want to type in My Files, just like this, and you'll see the application right there. You want to get My Files Explorer. It's currently purple like this, but this is the one that you want. Uh, I got it for free somehow, but I think it might be a couple dollars, but I think there's also a free trial, so just get the free trial, do that, and yes, make sure you get that application downloaded. Then what you want to do is go back to the search bar and you want to type in internet browser just like this and you'll see this free internet browser that looks like this and you want to download that one. This is because they recently ruined the, the internet explorer on Xbox with downloads. So you have to go ahead and get a different uh, browsing source and we're going to go with internet browser just like this one right here. Get that downloaded. Then what you want to do is go back to the search bar and you want to type in expansion for and then you want to get this one in here. Expansion for explorer it's called. It looks like this. Make sure you get that installed and that is the third and final application that you need to get this to work. So we should be good then. So after you have all three of those applications installed, we now need to go to a website where we can download mods. Now what I do is I go on my phone and I go to mcpedal.com. This is the website where I go for all the mods. You can also do this on your Xbox, but the reason I do this on my phone is because it's just a lot easier and a lot more smoother to navigate. It's not as slow. The Xbox internet is very slow. So just go on your phone, I'd recommend if you have access to it, or computer, and go to mcpedal.com. What you want to do to make sure that all the uh, mods are up to date is you want to type in 1.18 right here, just to make sure that it's compatible, because not every single mod is going to work. And I can't stress that enough. You literally have to make sure it says 1.18. 1.18 support if you want to download the mod and make sure it works otherwise you're just wasting your time so make sure it says 1.18 support and then find the mod that you want i would just recommend for starting out just downloading the same mod as me so i'm going to show you what to do here so the mod i found right here is called vein miner new update as it sees says 1.18 support which is of course very important with this new update so this is the mod that i'm going to get so what you want to do is simply click on it and it will take you to the web page and it'll give you all the information about the mod and you just want to simply scroll down you'll probably get a couple pictures about it it'll tell you all the info and just keep scrolling down until you find a download link so as you can see right here in this example, I keep scrolling down and down, and then eventually I see it right here. It says download.mc pack right there. And you want to make sure that yours ends or it has a .mc pack or it just says download new. But yeah, click the newest download just like that. If it says media fire, just click on that. Just go to the downloads page and click on the downloads pretty much. And then that will take you. It says you're leaving MC pedal. Do you want to? Click OK, yes. I'm fine with me leaving the website. And this is basically taking you to the URL to download the uh, the content. Now the hard thing to explain with these downloads is that every single link basically says different things. It could take you to a different place, but most of these things are going to take you to a website called Linkvertise. So I'm going to show you how to get past Linkvertise right now. So if you click download and it takes you to a page like this, what you want to do is not click anything because these websites are sketchy, but you want to scroll down to where you see free access with ads. And you just want to simply click that. That's all you want to click. Then you want to scroll up a little bit to where you say discover articles and you want to click on discover articles. And after you do that, it'll open up all these random articles. You don't want to click any of them, but instead you want to sit here for about five seconds. And then after about five seconds click the X in the top right after clicking the X in the top right it'll back you out and you'll see discover articles now has a check mark by it and even right below that you can see it'll say continue to your download page so click that and this will take you finally to where you want to be the media fire download page and what you want to do from this page is you don't want to click download but instead you want to go up to the URL and you want to look what the URL is and you want to take it and copy it pretty much this is what I would recommend doing I take it, I copy it, and then I go and put it into my notes so I can see the entire URL. And that's the important link that we need to know right there, because what we're going to do is take that and enter it into our Xbox. So now that we have our download link, what we want to do is go back onto our Xbox, and the first app we want to open up is Internet Browser right here, the first one that we downloaded. So go ahead and open that up. So once the browser loads up, you want to press Y on your controller, and that will bring up this URL searcher in the top right here. Now in this URL, you have to type in the URL of the download page. So yeah, the link that you just put in your phone, you want to enter that into this search bar right here. So mine was www.mediafire.com slash file, all this stuff right here. I have it on screen. That's the one that was in my phone, and that's the website that we want to go to. That's the link. So I just saved time. I, I can just type it in on the Xbox now and save a little bit of time instead of having to do link for ties on the Xbox, which is a terrible experience. Feel free to pause the video now just to make sure you can type that in there and get it in right. But anyways, once you're done with that, what you want to do is make sure you have it all selected. Then what you want to do is press the button on your controller with the three lines, and then you want to go right here where it says copy, and you want to click copy just like that. You want to make sure you did that correctly, and now what you want to do is simply just go ahead and close out of the internet browser. As you are fine, if you have that copied, you're safe. Go ahead and close it. And when I say close it, I mean you literally want to go to the home page, and you want to press on it with that three-line button, and you want to go ahead and hit quit right here. And that will basically just reset the app for you. So go ahead, press quit, and then open it back up. 
So once it loads back up here, you'll be greeted with this screen right about here. Now what you want to do is not press anything. All you got to do is press that button, I hit controller with the three lines, and you want to go right here to where it says paste, and simply click paste just like that. And it will put the entire URL that you entered in, into the, uh, the search bar just like that. And then you want to go over to this arrow right here, and you want to click that, and that will basically proceed us to the website where we're going to download the mods. So once the website loads up, all you want to do is go to the big blue download button. And you just want to go ahead and click that simply just like this. It'll say, do you want to open or save? You want to click save just like that, perfect name. And then after waiting a couple seconds, this little notification will pop up saying your download was complete and you just want to hold the center button and it will take you to this screen right here. Now from the screen what you want to do is go to these three buttons right here right next to the download that you just did. You want to go to save as just like this and then that will take you to this screen right here. Now from the screen you want to go on the left side right there. You want to click this button right here and then this will take you to about the right places. You want to go right here over to downloads and then feel free to click downloads and then save it into that folder. So make sure it says this device downloads in the top and then you can just go ahead and click save and that will be perfect. It'll kick you out just like this but that's perfectly fine because we are done with this step. Uh, go ahead close out of the internet browser and all that stuff. We are done with this part. Now let's go and open up My Files Explorer. So once inside of My Files Explorer, what you want to do is go up to the top right here where these three buttons are. And all you want to do is simply click on them. You want to go down to where it says Add Folder to Library, just like this. Wait a second, let it load. And then it will take you to this screen right here. Now what you want to do is not click anything. You want to go to the left, go down one, and then click on this button right here. And then you should see all these options right here. But you don't want to click any of them. Don't click any of them. All you have to do is simply go down to where it says select, and that is perfect. You don't have to click any of the folders, just simply hit this device, select, just like that. And it will create a new file called user manager, user whatever, merger, zero, just like this. Perfect. So after doing that, you can close out of My Files Explorer, and what you want to do is go over to the, to the uh, last application that we installed called Expansion for Explorer. Remember, it looks like this. Open that up, and you'll be greeted with this page right here. So once you're in this page, it's actually very simple. You will see the Vein Miner MC pack that we downloaded, and all you have to do is simply click on it with the button with three lines on it, and you want to go up to where it says install right here. Click install, and it will literally install itself. It'll extract perfectly, and it will install itself into your MC Behavior folder. If you don't have the MC Behaviors folder, I have a video in uh, pinned in the pinned comment of this video showing you how to get the MC Behaviors folder, but you do need do need all these folders in order for this to work. But yes, if you don't have all these MC resource and all these skin folders, if you need to have those, if you don't have them, do not worry. Again, check the pinned comment. It's just like a one minute fix. You have to download a resource pack to get them to show up. Very easy, so go ahead and check the pinned comment for that if you're struggling with this part. But anyways, after you click install on the MC pack, it literally will install itself into your Minecraft and you're good to go load up a new world or load up your current world. You want to go to its settings, go down to where it says behavior packs, and in my packs you will see the vein miner. You just want to click on it, you want to hit activate, it will turn off achievements as all behavior packs do. But yeah, make sure it's at the top of your active packs, and you can go ahead, you can start the world, or you can create the world, and you will indeed have that mod on. So whenever you crouch in, in a break an ore, it'll break all the ores. Again, kind of a lame little mod to start off with, but again, I know it's compatible with 1.18, so that's just the one I use for this example. So you crouch, you break the ores, and it breaks all of them. Again, I'm sure you can find more interesting mods, but you have to make sure that they're compatible with 1.18. So let me know in the comments if we want to compile a list as a community of mods that work. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, guys. If you have any questions, any problems, let me know in the comments, and hopefully you guys found this useful. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and remember, if you need skin packs or custom shaders, I also got you for Xbox. Uh, they're very similar to this method, but yeah, I also have videos in those. Anyways, guys, peace out. It's been spinning. Until the next one, take it easy. Goodbye. <laughs>